Welcome to a special episode. This one is a updated texture install and texture changing, I guess, um, video. Since I've had lots of questions on would you change this, would you change this, well you guys can change it yourselves. <laughs> um, I made my texture pack how I wanted it, and if you would like to change something, here is how. Well first, the install. Um, Go to my channel. You can download my texture pack right here. So texture pack, this is 1.7 still. 1.8 will be coming out soon. Um, and the HD texture fixer if you need that. Um, but once you download it, it should look like that. So just X Pro KX. Unzip it if you would like to change something. Um, but if you would, uh, if you'd like to keep it like that, just drag it into your Minecraft and then into texture packs. So just drag it in here and you're good to go. But if you want the HD water, um, you need to use, I think it's under here, you need to use the MC Patcher. And this does work with 1.8 pre-release, I'm not sure about the actual release, but um, you can also install mods. It's a little bit touchy, <laughs> it's not doesn't always work um, for the mods. Some mods require certain different um, install types. But I know this works with too many items really well, so you can do at least that. Um, you just click plus, search for too many items, mine's probably in, um, let's see, desktop, come on, fine, <laughs> Minecraft stuff, and then mods, and it is over here, too many items, you just select the zip folder, click open. And then you've got all these, you want all of these, and just click OK. You can select certain things in a mod pack that you want, but I want all the stuff in the too many items. Then make sure it's checked, make sure HD, texture, HD textures is fit, um, checked as well, if you want the HD water. I really like better grass, so that one's good too. Um, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, and then you just click patch. Um, I won't because mine's already been patched and stuff. And make sure Minecraft is not open or else you will get errors and that's not good. You'll have to re-download your bin folder and stuff. So that is how you install my texture pack. Um, if you would like to change anything in the texture pack, um, you will need to... Wait, wait, just a second. Okay, you'll need to go unzip my texture pack and you'll get a folder. And then inside that folder will be all of this. Um, here is your terrain file, so if you want to change any of the main textures, that's where you find that. Um, if you want to change the moon and the sun, it's in the terrain folder. Any of the mobs uh, is in the mob folder. <laughs> uh, miscellaneous, I changed the foliage color in 1.8. Uh, it's actually the default foliage color, so um, no longer is it super bright green and then like a turquoise color. Um, it's a little bit <laughs> better in my eyes. Um, if you want to edit the chest, you have to edit them here, otherwise they will not change in the game. You can't just edit it in the terrain file anymore. Um, and here, here's your items, and then just how the um, GUI looks, your interface. And here's cloud, rain, snow, textures, you've got the art. Um, let me just open this, show you guys. This right here is the back of all your paintings. If you want it to look a certain way, or just be invisible, if you want it to be invisible, so you, it's like a one-way mirror, you just delete that and you're good to go. You still see the painting in front, but in the back you see nothing. Um, I changed one of them to that. There's a TV and now a computer. So those will be in the 1.8 update as well. Um, also, if you want to change armor, you have to go in here and in the... Um, items. So this one is just a little like representation for your inventory to show what type of um, armor it is. But if you want to change how it actually looks on the person, you have to change the armor files in here. Um, and alternates, I don't have any right now, that's what I'll be doing in this episode. Um, this is a particle file that does not have flames so that um, if you want to change to, say, the light bulb, 
you probably don't want a flame on your light bulb, so I just have that in there. Um, but I will show you. I use paint.net on my Windows machine because I don't have Photoshop on here yet. But it's it works great, it's free. Um, but open up your uh, terrain file in here. Um, let's say you want the light bulb texture. I, I got a new one recently. Um, select the 16 by 16 area. Um, then control copy and control paste and then just put it right over that um, torch and you're good to go. Uh, actually it's a little bit off center. There we go. Make sure it's centered and make sure it's centered, my word. Um, and someone was asking me about um, changing the lapis lazuli and diamond and all that stuff back. Um, those textures are actually right here. So this is the steel or iron block, gold block, and diamond block. But um, first we'll save this. Save as um, terrain. We'll do terrain 2. Save. And then um, we'll oh, press OK. We'll exit out of this and reopen this terrain file, the normal terrain. So open with paint.net. Zoom in a bit. And now I'm going to change these back. So I've got that selector tool already selected. Select that, control copy, control paste. And then up here, just place them over, make sure they don't overlap anything so they don't in, go into other textures because then you'll mess up other textures. And then um, you're good to go. File, save as, we'll say terrain 3. Save. And click OK. And now I can exit out of that. Um, and in here, I'm going to put these two in my alternates folder. Um, not all texture packs have alternates, but um, usually alternates will just be right there and you'll have to change them yourself. Um, but if you go into the alter my alternates folder, um, in order to use these, you need to change the name of this one or just delete this one and then rename one of these just terrain or just particles and move them out here. Um, and then it'll replace these and change the textures for you. So that is how you use the alternates folder. Just rename those as particles or just terrain and you'll have what is inside each of them. Or you can just edit the, it yourself, and you can edit any of the textures. Um, so, like in here, let's say we want diamonds. Um, let's say we want the watermelon to look like diamond. So we place our diamond there, um, and you're good to go. Now, um, whenever you get watermelon, It'll look like diamonds. Um, you can do whatever you would like. And um, for 1.8, there's a couple things. If you want your bow to have the the animated pullback animation, you need to have these textures in here. So it pulls back a little bit and then a little bit further and then all the way. Otherwise, it'll just be like that and start like vibrating rather than pulling back. It's kind of weird. Um, I changed the bone texture couple little things. There's chicken, there's beef, ender pearl. Um, some of these are default texture pack, but um, I thought they looked okay, so I kept them like that. Um, let's see, anything else? So this is the chest texture. Um, instead of just going into your terrain file and editing the chest in there, you have to go into this one and change things in here. Otherwise, the chest will just default to default texture pack, and so looks a little bit lame. Um, so this is my default, no, not default, my chest texture. And um, that is the latch on front up there, and this is where the latch would go. It's just each one of these is a side of the chest that you can edit. Um, there's also the double chest texture that you need to edit as well. Um, I think that is everything. Um, I do not want to save. So I've got all these, and in order to get this to work in Minecraft now, you do not want to 
just click on this and uh, zip it because Minecraft looks at the zip folder and goes in and then only sees this folder rather than all of these. So you want to select all of these um, and then add to archive. Um, this is on Windows. For Mac you'll just right click and compress. Um, and then I like zip folders and I think actually it has to be a zip folder for Minecraft. Um, but then click OK. It'll name it for you or you can rename it but then you just drag it into your Minecraft folder drag it into your texture packs Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll just replace it and then if you open up Minecraft it should work um, and if you had already patched it then the HD textures will, will work if you need to and I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys I get a little bit long-winded um, but I I will <laughs> keep doing contests and such but um, at the moment I'm figuring some things out for the server so the prize is kind of um, not available at the moment uh, you, like we still have the server and everything it's just um, I'll announce it when it's ready um, but yes I will still be doing contests um, and let's builds and 1.8 should be coming out so then let's play uh, can't wait, um, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.